Hey everybody, Eric Nathy with MountModernLife.com. Hope you guys are doing well today. Now if you're looking to install a TV lift or an electric fireplace in your home or RV, we hope this video will help guide you along the way. Now we teamed up with Touchstone who provided us with the lift and fireplace and today I want to show you how easy it is to install them. Alright, so from this angle you guys can see the top of our TV lift. Um, it pretty much comes out of the box assembled uh, with everything ready to go. Um, there are a couple electrical components that you need to uh, plug in um, in order to make sure that that's ready to go. But if you look at your instruction manual uh, front provided by Touchstone with the lift, uh, it's extremely easy. It's step-by-step -step instructions and um, they're very straightforward. Um, now, if you look down here, you can see that we're actually looking down into our custom-built media cabinet. Now, before, uh, in our slide out here, we actually had a dinette booth, um, but we knew that it took up too much space and we weren't going to be utilizing it that much, so we actually went ahead and decided to put our custom media cabinet here. Um, and part of that involved uh, the TV lift. Um, so real quick, I'll go ahead and run through how easy it was to install this uh, in, in the unit here. Um, so if you look along the back wall here, you can see the frame um, from our custom media cabinet. Now we built our cabinet uh, from the, the wall frame in, uh, essentially. So this was placed up uh, and then the TV lift was uh, mounted back there. Now to install the TV lift, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna first focus on these back two brackets here. Um, by doing that, you can make sure that it's flat and secured, and then I would go ahead and attach two screws to those two brackets. Um, pretty easy, straightforward uh, as far as that goes. Um, now if you look down here to the right, you can see that there are three screws uh, on the right, and then over here on the left there's actually three over there that you can't see right now. Um, but the base actually comes with six holes. Um, however, you have the choice to use four or six, however uh, you want to go about it. Um, for us, it was extremely important to me to make sure that it was secure, considering it's on the slide out, it's going to be coming in and out, uh, and we're going to be driving down the road. So I elected to go with six. Um, but really, as far as the actual insulation of the Whisperlift 2 Pro Advanced, uh, that's about it. Um, everything else, uh, here, all of this comes assembled, um, and then you'll have your couple electrical components, but uh, you can definitely uh, easily follow the instruction manual to get those done. It's a matter of just plugging a couple things in. Um, but that about wraps that up. Uh, here in a later video, we'll go ahead and explain how um, our TV is actually put onto the lift. Um, that way, if you guys ever have any questions about that, uh, you can put those on there as well. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and move on to the fireplace. All right, so here we are uh, back in the front again. As you can see, I went ahead and uh, put the fireplace in the slot we had created for it. Um, before we get into how it was installed um, and how to put the glass piece on, I wanted to give you guys a couple pointers. Um, number one is that it is an electric fireplace, so you are gonna have a cable. Um, so take that into account when you're actually building the media cabinet. Um, I, for one, uh, right here on this side panel for the fireplace box here, um, I drilled a two inch hole over here to the back side um, so that I could feed the cable through there. Um, and another thing, this might seem simple, but uh, on the back of the fireplace when it comes uh, to you, the uh, cord is actually tied up with a twisty tie. Um, so before you put this in and install it completely, you're going to want to untie that and uh, I would recommend feeding the wire through before you put the fireplace into place. Um, just a tip, uh, I didn't do that the first time. Um, anyway, so that's one tip. Number two is that there are um, there is a distance required between your fireplace and the TV, so definitely uh, read the uh, owner's manual before you go ahead and install everything and make your plans so that you know that uh, your TV is in fact the required distance away from the fireplace. Um, but other than that, uh, installing this into the media cabinet was fairly easy. Um, what you do is you slide it into the slot you created. Um, for us, I actually built this front piece of the media cap cabinet uh, separately um, and measured the back of the fireplace. And then before I actually installed this whole front piece on the media cabinet, I slid it behind the fireplace to make sure that it would fit right, and it did. Um, so then I installed it on here, uh, knowing that uh, once I got to the fireplace part portion that it already fit. 
Um, but then it's as easy as sliding it in place and then Touchstone actually um, includes six screws uh, for you to put in. You're going to put three on the left side of the fireplace and then three on the right side of the fireplace. Um, and then boom, uh, it's in there and it's secure. Um, now when your fireplace comes to you, it's actually going to come to you with the glass pre-installed on the fireplace. Uh, there's two screws and a couple hooks. Um, so right now I'll go ahead and install that um, and then uh, we'll move forward. All right, so here we are. We have our 36 inch recessed uh, sideline electric fireplace installed and it looks fantastic. Uh, showed you a second ago in a sped up version how we installed the glass piece. Real easy, two right brackets, two left brackets. Line them up, slide it down, put the two screws uh, in the top right and top left that you had to take out previously. Um, another feature about this that I want to touch base on real quick is that uh, as you can see here we have the logs in place. Um, but it also comes with the crystals and the crystal mirror so that if you want to go for that uh, more crystal elegant look you can do that as well. We chose the log but that choice is yours. Um, also too is if you guys have any questions during the installation process of the TV lift or the fireplace uh, you can definitely reach out to Touchstone. Uh, they're more than happy to help you through that process make sure everything's going smooth for you. Um, and then if you're looking for more detail on how we installed uh, the lift in the fireplace and how we built the uh, custom media cabinet, uh, I'm going to put a link below in the description that you can check out and that'll shoot you over to the website. And then uh, here very shortly we're going to be coming out with another post and video that highlights the media cabinet all finished up with the TV lift and fireplace in live action. But that about wraps it up for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them below or visit us at mountainmodernlife.com. And as always, thank you much for taking the time to view our video today.